I'm Fena Sillier, and I'm from Curacao, a beautiful island in the Caribbean. I'm a postdoc in the laboratory of Professor Martin Smith here at UC Berkeley. As an immunologist, I am interested in the genetic and environmental factors that um, affect the immune development and function. For project three, arsenic biomarkers in epidemiology from core C, I will be studying early life ex arsenic exposure and the effects on the immune development and function. Arsenic is a metalloid element which is present in groundwater and the earth and can be broken down in poisonous compounds. Arsenic can be found throughout the world, including um, places in the US. Since arsenic is found in groundwater, arsenic exposure can come from con intake of contaminated water or contaminated crops, such as rice. The long-term health effects of arsenic are um, lung cancer, bladder cancer, kidney cancer. There are also skin lesions. It can cause cardiovascular diseases, reproductive effects. It has a link with diabetes and respiratory diseases. Acute um, arsenic exposure can lead to um, vomiting, abdominal pain, and bloody diarrhea. The World Health Organization has acknowledged arsenic exposure as a major public health concern. Through our collaborators from the labs of Professor Alan Smith, Dr. Craig Steinmaus at, here at UC Berkeley, and Dr. Caterina Ferriccio in Chile, we have the opportunity to access um, human samples, blood samples, from a population that has been exposed to arsenic in Chile. This population lives in the northern Chilean city of Antofagasta. Antofagasta in the past um, only relied on one water source from one river until 1958, when an additional river was added as a water source. However, this water source, the river was highly contaminated with arsenic. Not until 1971 did they install a treatment plant to remove this arsenic from the water. Therefore, this um, provides us with a rare opportunity to study long-term effects from early life exposure to arsenic on the on incidence of disease and mortality. For example, what they found is that um, early life exposure to arsenic causes um, increased incidence and mortality from bronchiectasis, COPD, lung cancer, and pulmonary tuberculosis. Since um, these uh, early life exposure leads to high incidence and mortality from pulmonary diseases, my hypothesis is that early life exposure to arsenic affects the immune development which leads to immu in insufficient immune protection against diseases later in life. For my project, I will focus on pulmonary diseases such as lung cancer, pulmonary tuberculosis, and bronchiectasis. The macrophages are the cell types I will focus on because these are the first um, defend line of defense in the lung and in the blood. As experiments, I will compare um, blood and macrophage function from arsenic exposed versus non-exposed individuals. For example, in their function and their capacity to clear a tuberculosis infection. Arsenic exposure through contaminated water intake is a serious public health concern in specific regions and countries. And this is exacerbated by the fact that long-term health effects um, uh, include high incidence of disease and mortality upon this early life exposure, even 40 years after exposure of, to arsenic. The global concern of arsenic exposure is probably bigger than we expect right now. And this comes because of the widespread consumption of contaminated so crops such as rice. A better understanding of the effects of arsenic on the immune development therefore doesn't only explain um, why we are exposed to diseases after arsenic exposure, but it can also highlight necessary targets for treatment and prevention, preventative measures against arsenic-related diseases. My future goals are to clarify the role of genetic and environmental exposures, such as arsenic, on immune development and function. 
and understanding what we are exposed to from the inside out provides us with the targets and tools to stay healthy. Thank you.